that while the Greek Bible is accepted by 99% of Christian theology, the Greek Bible, I believe, has trouble reflecting some of those idioms, metaphors, and understandings of the East. Where the Aramaic is an Eastern language, it's consistent with those traditions and understandings and axioms of the East. And I started reading the translation from the Peshitta text, the Aramaic text in the English, I found it very rich, very revealing, and frankly changed my whole uh, view of Jesus and some of his metaphors and idioms that he would speak about. For example, when Muslims say hello, they say, Salam Alaikum. That means peace be with you. When Jews say hello, what do they say? Shalom, Shalom Aleichem, which is the same as Salam Aleikum. Is peace be with you. Now, what did Jesus say in his Aramaic vernacular? Shlam aloch. You hear this? It sounds, they're all identically the same. Now, one of the more interesting things, getting back to, I told you, the paradigm crash, did Jesus really come here to convert people to the Christian religion and the Christian faith? The very interesting thing about the word convert, which is used ten times, incidentally, in the King James Version, in the English translation, the word convert, often used by Jesus and sometimes by Paul, is the word shlama. The word shlama, or shalim, is the same word as shalom. It's the same word as in the Arabic salim, which means peace. But it also means something other than peace. It also means to submit, to surrender, and to turn around. So therefore, when Jesus used the word go make disciples or converts of nations, he used the word shalim, meaning go make people who will submit themselves to God, not change their traditions, not spit in the face of their families and say, I've now changed membership in cultural, traditional clubs from, let's say, the Muslim club to the Christian 